Hi, hello, friends. I am back with tea. I'm noshing on cookies because I am an adult and making great decisions about my life and nutrition. How is everybody? I mean, we have this enormous tin of those like fancy chocolate covered cookies that are basically candy left over from Christmas. I'm doing my best to make them not left over <laughs> so that I can get back on track to eating decent food again. I know there is no logic in that whatsoever, but that's what I'm doing. Well, see, the problem is I'm the only person in this household that likes sweets, so it's up to me to get rid of them. Truly, truly a selfless task. Also, they're just really tasty. <clears throat> <laughs> See, you know, Anna, you understand. <laughs> That's exactly the problem. So I've started handing out like rolls and things. Um, I think I mentioned last night, I may want to uh, get some mods, some additional folks. Um, there's a method to my madness. I haven't gotten to everybody that I would like to give VIP. And honestly, if I could give every one of you VIP, I would because I love you all. In general, I'm going to reserve it for cast members on my shows or folks who are providing exceedingly helpful information uh, in, in games like these. So there are a few of you I have not yet given your little gem to yet, but you will get it. Um, and apparently, it looks like according to Twitch, if you are a mod, you cannot be a VIP. So... I don't know. Mod supersedes VIP? It's... I guess that's how it works. I don't know. I'm not actually very good at Twitch. Hashtag pro streamer. I'm learning slowly. That said, if you are a good person, generally not a dick, and tend to hang out here a lot and you are interested in modding, let me know.
Yeah, VIPs basically get like if if for instance my chat was link restricted, VIPs can still post links. Most of the benefits you technically get from being a VIP don't even matter here. <laughs> Like, basically, you get a cool-looking little gem-shaped badge. So, cool. Hence, I'm using it as a way to delineate some of my cast members. Because <laughs> I didn't know what else to do with it. I haven't finished adding everybody though, so I will soon. I want to get my computer bullshit figured out this week. Um, I'm going to be trying to switch over to the new machine and painstakingly get all my stuff back onto the new one and load everything and pray it all works. Um, and then... And then I will be powerful, I guess. I don't know. Nobody, nobody but me will notice a difference. It'll be fine. I'm excited. It shouldn't be bad. I don't think I'm gonna be too likely to lose much of anything because I keep everything on cloud storage. Um, so I really don't have to like deal with manually moving files. <clears throat> um, reinstalling everything is gonna suck though and reconfiguring everything is going to suck immensely, especially reconfiguring all of like my overlays and shit. That's just going to suck. <laughs> the somewhat good part is, um, admittedly, quite a few of these are no longer in use. So I could just like not worry about them and just set up the ones I need, like Promise Tree and Otome Bullshit, um, and then set up the others as I need them. I want to redo the Kokuri-san stuff now that it's no longer a one-shot. So that will um, probably get a facelift to reflect the, the actual tone that the show has apparently adopted under its own power. It, it, it needs to look less spooky. And I'm honestly trying to decide on um, a more complete title because Kokuri-san was... It worked for the one shot. Uh, I feel like it needs a longer title, but I need to talk to someone who's fluent in Japanese to come up with a better one. <laughs> But that's for another time. Are we ready to get rolling on Hakuoki bullshit? Because I think I am. Mm, yeah, our game later this month is going to be very fun. I'm super excited. All right, let's do this thing. I'm going to fire up the game. Smooch our boy while we stab our dad at the same time. I would be for that. That's like a really good dramatic moment.
Soji still wears like a uh, kimono style thing under his Western outfit, which is an interesting choice, I find. He's like the only one that does, I believe. All the rest of them have done like a Western shirt. Let's see. We've done Soji's bullshit, so we can see that. Yeah, see, he's got like a kimono thing going on. Um, everybody else is rocking a Western shirt and a waistcoat and all this garbage. But he's like, nah, I'ma do like a, a, a shogun coat or some other bullshit that is patently not Western. Our most Japanese boy right here. Uh, I really like Teisuke's outfit, though. He's super cute. Like, look at how freaking adorable he is, though. Uh, yeah. So, without further ado, we're gonna pick up where we left off. <clears throat> We're gonna jump right into it. Um, so last time, our bad dad found us when we went back to our old house to try and get some information on Furies because we wanna help Saito because he's a workaholic who refuses to admit that he needs help, needs blood, needs a whole lot of things. Um, Psycho dad threw a bunch of scalpels around, tried to tempt bullshit and Saito had a had a little bit of a seizure episode where he needed blood and we gave him blood from our finger and it was awkwardly phrased and weird. But anyway, we didn't get a CG for that one, so that's not the real blood drinking scene. So I think the uh, the original place where she tends to cut so that he will drink blood, which is her fucking earlobe, by the way, it's real dumb. Um, it still stands, but we'll see. <laughs> yeah, the wrinkly fingertip thing was just weird as hell. Anyway, onward. How are we volume-wise? Good? Music is okay compared to me. Anything too loud, too quiet? Do we need to tune stuff? Okay. Cool. Excellent. <clears throat> so, uh, for those that are new, uh, looking at you, Arcanus, um, I read the heroine's voiceover in English because it is not voiced and her narration is not voiced. Everybody else is voiced, but it's all in Japanese. It's a little weird, I'm sure, but everybody seems to get used to it after a while. Springtime brought with it the bloom of new life. The Shinsengumi had renamed themselves as the Koyo Regulatory Company and departed from Edo. Sanan and Heisuke decided to stay behind in Edo, along with what remained of the Fury Corp. My first assumption was that I would remain behind with them, but... For some reason... Hijikata saw fit to command me to march beside the Kuyo Regulatory Company. I like how the plot doesn't even bother to explain that. That's fine. Saito was assigned to watch over me, making this experience altogether not much different than how things had been while we were in Edo. There was one rather large change, however. Which was... Oh, we're getting right into the outfits! Shikashi, Masaka, Konorega, Yoso de Tataka Gutuni Naruto, Omana Katase. Hijikata san wa Tarasimono Zukita Karana. Jio Motta Yasra to no Tarakaina, Kotino Honga Tsunga Ite Kotodaro.
着るのには苦労したけどな特にこのボタンってやつの使い道が最初さっぱりわからなくて。After embarking from Edo, many of the men were given a new Western style uniform to wear. I found them rather dashing, despite how form fitting all of the accessories and garments were compared to Japanese clothing. But everyone had their doubts. <laughs> yeah, too sexy for his shirt, as they say. Or really any shirt ever. Nagakura must always expose all of his pecs. That is just a. Like a rule of the universe. And apparently, Hijikata is secretly a fashionable motherfucker.、Uh, hey, Saito. How do those tight sleeves fit on you? Are they hard to move in? I think these clothes have buttons instead of sashes to fashion things together. <laughs> He must breathe through his pecs. <laughs> so、This had been my first opportunity to see Saito adorn his Western uniform, but. I had to say, he looked quite handsome. Of course, I was a little taken aback to see that he had cut off inches off his hair, but. Saito, rather unsurprisingly, was difficult to read. And I wasn't sure if he was upset by it or not. Huh? Um, Saito, I think you forgot to button those last two right there. Huh?、Uh, maybe, but I think those two holes are there so that you can slip those last two buttons in. I think. I think you may have missed a couple. Hearing this, Saito quietly dropped his eyes to peek on the aforementioned buttons of his new coat. His cheeks flushed with color as he bit his lip. Auto de nos. Whoopsie. Oh, also, if anybody wants to grab a screenshot of that, I mean, I'm going to because it's adorable when he blushes, but you know. I'm so sorry. If it doesn't bother you, then don't worry about it. It's fine either way. Judging by his reaction, it seemed getting Saito to feel comfortable would be like pulling teeth. Now that I think about it, I haven't seen Kondo around recently. Did he not join our convoy? Kondo was in the middle of the day, but he was still in the middle of the day, so I'm sorry. いいのどうせ新入り大使と宴会でもしてるんじゃないのさあ何考えてるんだろうなあの人今回の交付行きを旅行が何かと勘違いしてるんじゃねえのかそう言ってやるなって久しぶりに嫁さんや娘にも会い
gonna guess that's a med school thing. Probably not an ancient Oni tradition. I don't think they do scalpels. <clears throat> I snuck a glance over at Saito, who was walking quietly beside me, his stride almost step for step with mine. Although he wouldn't have been one to express much, I noticed his brows locked in a furrowed position. There was something heavy on his mind. Eventually, Hijikata loudly barked at the convoy to halt from the front, stopping to face us. Alright, um, so here's the the secret fashionista. Look at his friggin' like watch chain or whatever the hell he's got going on here. And the slightly artfully uh opened button situation. I see you, Hijikata. <laughs> There's a lot going on here. And my apologies, my cat just bumped the mic. Boom. <sighs> Hopefully that wasn't too deafening. <clears throat> I'm fine, thank you. Warina, you can not be ordered to do calls as a recording in a chimate. Oh, I don't mind at all, but I wondered is it really okay for me to be marching out here with you guys? I mean, I'm just a little worried that I could be a distraction on the battlefield. Hijikata's expression turned glum. He seemed to stroke his chin absent-mindedly, lost in a deep thread of concentration. Alright, we'll see you in a bit, Helheim. Take care. Dangerous? Then Saito chimed in. Sanan san no koto desu ka? Sasuga sashi ga ii na. Sono tori da. Kali chi, who's surprised? Raise your hand. Oh, literally no one? <sighs> oh, whoops. Promise tree is still being promoted. Hold on. I forgot to turn that off from earlier today. Ha! Ah! Bear with me, friends. I'm gonna set Moobot straight. There we go. Aight, we good. I mean, promoting the promise tree is great, but I don't want to do it during Hakuoki stream. <laughs> It was great! It was such a good time! I'm glad everybody had fun. It was so good to get back to it. Ha! Huh. I was unsure of what to say. I too had experienced suspicious interactions with Sun Nun that left me a little more uneasy than I would have liked. Yeah, scratching at the walls sure is a way to phrase his behavior. Jesus. Hmm. <clears throat> <clears throat> Appropriate, though. Oh, look at Hijikata being such a good dad to us. He's, he the best. 
Worst romance option, best dad option. いろいろ面倒ごとは多いが、一緒についてきてもらうことにしたんだろう。すまねえな、付き合わせちまって。Oh, please don't worry about me. At first, Hijikata's sudden orders confused me, especially because I was certainly no warrior, but it appeared as though he had a lot to think about. Which was understandable in his position. Fukuchou, I want to tell you one thing. Oh, what? Saito. Shinpachi and Sanoga are discussing the situation of the conflict. I'm wondering if you have any questions. <laughs> Thank you for bringing my girlfriend, Commander. <laughs> Things Saito would never say. <laughs> Hijikata gave a wry smile. Gimon to your human daro. So they are more kizu it. That is definitely a wry smile. They also use that when Hijikata's like smiling sadly, and it's very effective in both ways. It's such a good expression. <clears throat> Have I gushed lately about how much I love the art in this game? No? Well, I do. I'm <laughs> 局長が宿に入り浸って酒かっくらってたんじゃあいつらが腹を立てるのも当たり前だよなただこのご時世普通に募集をかけたところで大使なんて集まってこねえいやあ、the the night forest background is very good too What? In the past, I was somewhat ignorant of their recruiting methods, but... Are men who are more easily swayed by the promise of alcohol and money the kinds of men our leaders expected to fight tooth and nail for the Shinsengumi? I'm going to ask you. Mm. <laughs> Desperate times. That's right. Uh, to recap for those who maybe missed it, their their goal right now is they're marching to take Kofu Castle. Uh, because if they do. Um, Kondo gets to basically keep it as his own and fortify it against uh, the imperialists. <clears throat> uh, Timeline-wise, also, we are in like the 1860s. We're, we're smack in the middle of the Boshin War in Japan. Basically, the, the shogunate is about to fall. Yeah, I think 1868 sounds about right. Give or take. Um, they do a ton of time skipping of years in the first... Uh, in Kyoto Winds, I don't think it passes as quickly here. It's sort of hard to track time in this sometimes, especially after we've played through so many routes, I lose track of it very easily. 
当聞いてほしくねえことばかり聞いてくれるよな野戦になりゃ勝つのは相当難しくなるだろう今回の戦にあたって幕府のお偉いさんから武器や大砲を預かってきたが薩長が使ってやがる新型の武器にはどうしたって歯が立たねえ And yep, as Lin says, this was basically a ploy to get them the heck out of Edo so they could do what they wanted to do all along. Which makes it even sadder, to be quite honest. <laughs> You're not wrong, Ethan. That, that does tend to be a scenario that happens in a lot of Ultimate games. <clears throat> At least in these ones where history is a, is a situation. Deva, Konkai, a maki ksan in Naruto. So Narane, your Doryokua Sursa. Kondo Sanya, Narubek, maki ksan and the cake in Stehoskune. And here we have Hijikata being very protective of Kondo and basically kind of running the show. Toy. You know what? That's a good line from Hijikata. Depressing, but good. Ichikata turned his somber eyes to face the cumulus clouds bunching into clusters overhead. Then, after a deep sigh, he faced Saito and me. こんな話を心配しやはらだに聞かせるわけにはいかねえだろう。勝つ保証はねえが死ぬ気で戦ってくれなんて、さすがに言えねえよ、俺でも。Chizuru is just like all poetic about the sky. Always. <laughs> this was the first time I'd ever seen Hijikata express a moment of vulnerability. It was so unlike him to admit that the odds were stacked against them. On top of this, how often had he found himself unable to show honesty to any of the captains? Men that he spent many, many years fighting alongside. Saito was stoic, as he and he gazed back at Hijikata with the face of a docile servant. お気持ちを察知します。相変わらず憎まれ役が応じて。な、それが俺の役回りだからな。Later, we were encamped just off the trail, and within the tent I laid awake restlessly. Hijikata's rather hopeless confession wouldn't stop stirring repeatedly in my head. From the corner of my eye, I saw Saito's sudden movement as he quietly exited the encampment. I wonder what's wrong. Did he have business to attend to? Although it would have been better for me to leave him be. I was concerned that it had something to do with his health or condition, so I went to follow him. Yukimura-senpai, what happened? Hi, Soma. I I'm worried about Saito. I'm going to make sure he's okay. <clears throat> yeah, Saito with the double-breasted coat. I know, it's so good. But hey, momentary appreciation for Soma. He is also a cute. Sotto-ste-oita-ho-ga-i-in-ja-ne.
もしかしたら副長と何か話でもあるのかもしれないし。Listen, boys, I'm your senpai. Get out of the way. <laughs> If that were the case, then I'd come right back. Do either of you mind keeping watch for me? With that, I ran after Saito. An interesting thing about the, the little、uh, emblems on the coats, those are actually crests、uh, for each of them, I believe. <clears throat> I'll have to dig up the post that I saw about it, but it broke down which one belonged to which. And they were, they're kind of based on traditional mon,、uh, which are Japanese emblem, like house emblem patterns. Japanese heraldry is a whole cool thing that I could nerd out about a lot.、Um, anyway. I won't, because that's not why we're here right now. And I want to give you the accurate information, not the, the bullshit. <laughs> Where did he go? Oh, yeah, there's the double breasted coat. Look at that goodness.、Ah, there he is. Saito stood alone in the middle of an open patch in the forest. Silently staring towards the clear sky. The stars glowed intensely, as if they were all on course to rain down upon him, and he stood mesmerized. He was as expressionless as ever, but his shoulders slumped below the twinkle of his melancholic eyes. A lonely display, I thought to myself. Just then,、uh! I accidentally brushed a branch, rustling the leaves behind which I was hiding. Saito's sharp voice cracked the silence. <laughs> He must have thought I was an enemy soldier spying on him. His tone was biting, and I could hear his hand wrapped around his katana's hilt. Wait! It's me! At once I leapt from behind the shrub. When Saito had realized it was me, his expression became sullen. Nani yue hitori de jin wo dete kita. Senjit no koto o nani mo hansei shite i nai yoda na. Chizuru is secretly the expression of Hijikata's bad haiku. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's just that I had a lot on my mind and I, I couldn't fall asleep. And then I saw you leaving the camp, so. Saito hadn't reacted one bit whatsoever. Keeping his stoic eyes locked on me as I explained myself. Eventually, he just turned to look at the moon, gazing quietly at the soft, tender light. Um, why did you come here? Did you need some fresh air? Saito didn't respond. Instead, he continued to stare into the sky. And his eyes thinned as if the stars were shining too brightly. <laughs> Surely Saito was consumed with thoughts that tightly coiled within his heart. I felt a little guilty for interrupting this moment of solace, but. Um, so what do you think, Saito? About what Hijikata said earlier, I mean. Doto. Well, um. If things go the way Hijikata predicted them to, then we might end up losing this time around, right? So, Daruna. Whatever no Motsbuki, Akuma de Mokushi no Mono, Shingata no Heki or Kushis or Sacho no Butaina, Tote Hagatata. Shikamo Konkai, Tomoni Tataka, Shin Iri no Taish Tachua. Oof. 
that's rough. Th then why don't they find swordsmen? Hito Saito was right. It didn't matter how many men we recruited. Without actual experience on the battlefield, we may as well have been sending men to their graves. Having both Hijikara and Saito describe in great detail just how dire our situation was awoke within me a potent, depressive hopelessness. Aren't you scared, Saito? Entering the battlefield knowing that defeat could be likely? You... You might die. In my heart, I realized how futile this question might have sounded. Especially to someone like Saito, who on numerous occasions came face to face with death. He was a man who, without a shred of doubt, accepted death as his companion a long time ago. It was a bravery that I could not fathom. His answer, perhaps unsurprisingly, was delivered indifferently. But he added something that I was not expecting. Also a good line. What you believe in? His words were so obscure that it was difficult for me to extract any kind of meaning from them. After a calm pause, Saito looked me in the eye, taking a deep breath before asking me a question. Hey, I think we're having another serious samurai talk. Uh, other name? You mean like samurai? Saito shut his eyes and slowly shook his head. Hidarizashi. Bushi ga katana wo sasu no wa hidari no koshi da kara na. Huh? But you're... Saito kept his sword on the right side of his hips, and he always unsheathed with his left. After giving it a second of consideration, I don't think I've seen anyone other than Saito who kept their sword on the right side. Uh. So, you know, he didn't get his samurai license. Um, Kirikami... Uh... A preliminary letter of military exemption. Because, I guess, samurai? Anyway. <clears throat> Because he's left-handed, he couldn't get official, basically. Because that's just how they operated. 
市内を握った瞬間まず部長訪問と持ち方を正されるその繰り返しだった、uh, that hits me right in the feelings. PSM left handed too. Anyway. だがそんなことを言った連中で俺に勝った者はただの一人もいない師範代目録大層な肩書きを持った者でも打ち合えば無名の俺に負ける<笑> Yeah, Samurai HR needs to hear about this Oh man, if y'all heard an adorable little squeak, that was Percy making the cutest yawn. Except now he's blocking the screen and I can't see. <laughs> そんなことばかり考えていた。サイト muttered to himself nonchalantly。however、learning how much he had overcome told me just how much this question meant to him。for years。so、does that mean you found an answer。サイト fell silent。Without another word, he unsheathed his sword, and the cold, shimmering moonlight reflected off of the blade. Kantan na koto da. Shinken de kiri atte, katta hou ga tsuyoi. Tanjun ni shite meikai na kotae da. 260nen tsuzui ta taihei no yo de, samurai doushi ga kiri ai o suru koto nado metta ni nak natte shimatta ga. Sore demo samurai to yu no wa. 刀を振るうのが本文だったはずだ。俺はそう考えていた。Most conversations with Saito are weirdly soothing. <laughs> I think it's got somewhat to do with Toriyumi's delivery. <laughs> Saito's eyes glowed from the shine of the lit blade. But they still carried a thick darkness behind them. A tingling chill ran down the length of my spine. Daga, so omotte ita no wa ore dake datta yo da. Shinsen gumi ga dekiru mae, aru hatamoto no shitei ni hatashi ai o moushikomare, sono aite o kirikoroshita koto ga aru. We're getting backstory. What? Ah, the motto was one of the elites in our society. To kill one of them in a duel, I imagine, would have been a serious offense. Ore ga hatashi ai ni kachi, sono aite wa maketa. Da ga katta hazu no ore wa tsumi ni toare. Shiseki o hakudatsu sarete, bushi no akashi o ushinatta.武士というのはもともと人を斬るのが役目だったはずなのに実際に斬ると罪人と呼ばれるこんな矛盾した話があるかその頃の俺はそう考えていた The weight that Saito put behind each utterance of warrior was so heavy, as though his life was formed and guided by those standards alone. I doubt, sadly, that I would be able to find many who would find themselves in agreement with him. Despite having an unparalleled talent, he had no one to validate said talent. A frustrating fact indeed. His tragic lack of support instigated him to rely on his own measures for both strength and honor, for validation, which were tricky to navigate. For once, 
I caught a glimpse of the bitter loneliness that he had been nursing for most of his life. だが新選組の皆は勝つために目の前の相手を殺し己が生き残るために刀を振るそれは俺の思い描く武士の姿とよく似ていた死栄館で皆に会った時は初めて話の通じる相手に巡り合ったと思ったものだ Hearing Saito's story made me finally realize all that gave him strength and brought him strife. The Shinsengumi was the shelter and system of support that he had needed. <laughs> They're not sure which of them has killed the most, but it's either him or Soji. <laughs> That's fine. だがどれだけ多くの人間を切り殺しても薄気味悪がられ恨まれこそすれ感謝されることなど絶対にない俺が今まで研ぎ続けてきた爪はシャバでは何の役にも立たないそれは自分でもよくわかっている Saito rotated the blade to make his reflection visible, and he gazed longingly at himself. Taking a closer look at his sword, I realized that it was quite thinner than some of what the other men had. I suppose he sharpened his blade religiously, wearing it out in combat until it was of no use at all. If what he said about his amount of kills were true, then this must have happened dozens of times. だがこれが。この爪だけが。俺が勝ち続けてきた証なのだ。切り合いでは誰にも負けぬはずの。血生臭い剣技だけが。Hey, Scraticus! Welcome! How you doing, friend? I gasped. When Saito drank the water of life, he said it was in order to protect me, but... Perhaps more than that, he was afraid of confronting what defeat could mean to himself, which served in the greater interest of preserving his pride. So this is what gave Saito the will to continue. しかし時代は変わった。鍛え抜かれた剣の技よりも。幼獣の方が多くの人間を殺すことができる。武士が刀を持つ意味も、俺が爪を研ぎ続ける意味もなくなりつつある。Saito bitterly bit into his lips, sheathing his sword back into its scabbard. Aw, thanks for watching earlier, Scrat. Doing that good, good Ryutama bullshit. <laughs> For him, wielding the sword was the single most important honor any man could have. But the age of the blade was coming to its end. Beyond facing death or accepting the burden of becoming a fury, Saito's very way of life was threatened by the passage of time. An inevitable deluge of change beyond himself. Aw, oh, that's fine, Scrat. I know you've got, like, a ton of stuff cooking and ready to get going on stream. This would make anyone nervous, but to Saito... It meant a total reevaluation to the truths he had held dear for the entirety of his life. What could I possibly say to him? I should probably consult the walkthrough to make sure I don't screw it up. Th 
these these little quiet scenes with Saito are really so good. He's one of my faves for a reason. Pardon me as I find the walkthrough. If only there were a walkthrough for life. <laughs> Yeah, there's like a very quiet sort of melancholy that sort of underlies uh, Saito's route in a lot of points, which is nice. We're going to save before we do this. Maybe you're right. Maybe a time will come when warriors are no longer needed in our world. Even Hijikata admitted that the sheer range and power of a rifle puts us at a huge disadvantage against the Satsuma and Choshu. They were too advanced. My response seemed to sting Saito, and he glared angrily toward the empty space beside us. But even if a time comes when samurai and katanas are no longer needed, that doesn't mean that you won't be needed too, Saito. His sour tone made me flinch a little, but I took a deep breath to articulate my position calmly. Like you said, Swords are for killing. Blood has been spilled on your hands and certainly on your sword. But I disagree. Your sword also has the power to save lives. I, for one, am one of those who count themselves as lucky enough to have been saved by you. During the Battle of Tobafushimi, and from my father back in Edo, if you hadn't been there, I would have been killed. At the end of the day, my word came from someone who lived a relatively sheltered life of privilege. I was under constant protection. All the same, I hoped my words would do something to motivate and inspire Saito to retain his pride. Which is why... I'm so very thankful for you, Saito. I appreciate you. No matter what happens in the world, even if it decides that it no longer needs the samurai, I will always need you. You saved my life. Saito's lips curled inquisitively, making it difficult for me to read how he was feeling. Once more, he turned away from me, staring into the darkness in contemplation. Maybe what I said was out of line. Just as my anxiety began to flare. Uh. Saito stroked his soft, slender fingers against the side of my cheek. Well, there's a CG that's up close and personal. We're just going to sit on that for a minute. <clears throat> and screen cap it. And sundry. And there they go with the uh, blue night lighting again. <laughs> they sure do love to light him at the nighttime. Yeah, Chizuru is very small. <laughs> I could see the gorgeous dazzle of stars in his dark, mysterious eyes, which were stoically fixed on my own. 
Um, is something wrong, Saito? This gesture startled me initially, and I nervously asked him why, but... He remained silent, offering no answer with his words as much as his body language. <laughs> now, we definitely went out in the moonlight to have this conversation just for the lighting. <laughs> Absolutely. His eyes scanned me thoroughly as if he were searching for something conspicuous when... Finally, he spoke breathily. Huh? This guy and his words! <laughs> he ate a very good dictionary, right? <laughs> Jesus. His voice was as quiet as always. However, I sensed a small sense of relief in him, and he was less tense than when I had found him. Seeing him relax made my heart feel warm. So let's keep our faith in the Shinsengumi, then. They're the ones who recognized your strength before anyone else did. A strength that even you yourself were unaware of. Even if one day you no longer needed your sword, then I'm sure that none of them would ever think of abandoning you. Saito's eyes shot wide open in surprise. His mouth timidly formed into a slight curl, and he attempted an awkward, but adorable smile. What? I wasn't sure what Saito was murmuring. Yukimura, Gratitude sounded strange coming from him, but there was no question that it was genuine. His hands lingered on my face a moment longer, and then he slowly drew them back. It was true. After all, the Supreme Commander himself had abandoned his troops at the first sign of trouble. And moreover, even the Hideyoshi Daimyo and the Tokugawa affiliate Daimyo turned their backs on the Shogunate. シンパチは死ぬことを覚悟して切り込み隊に志願した。近藤さんは肩の傷が治ってすぐ戦線に復帰した。肘方さんは敗北して大使の避難を受けることを覚悟で幕府のために戦おうとしている。近藤さんや
Saito dropping those good lines again. I know we came here for romance, but I'm also all about this, like, philosophy of samurai-ness stuff. Huh, it's real good. It's also incredibly romanticized, but hey. His voice was unfettered by the monotone that usually characterized it so often in the past. I couldn't say for sure, but... It seemed as though, just as Saito had hoped to convince me of his strength and reliability, he had also hoped to convince himself. For as long as I'd known him, I'd seen Saito as serious and single-minded. The sort of man who was steadfast in his convictions and his self-determined purpose. But now, it seemed, I was beginning to see the side of him that was for lack of a better word, human. You're right. The insects chirped and hummed from the trees as we made our way back to camp. We were nearly there when... <laughs> no! Why? Why, though? <sighs> but yeah, also, like, this relationship in general is a very good one because they just bond like normal people. <laughs> we were just having such a good time talking philosophy under the moonlight, and now this. Saito stopped suddenly, his face twisted with pain. Saito? What's wrong? I ran to him as he leaned heavily against a nearby tree, his fingers digging into the bark. His teeth ground aggressively and his breath was strangled. As I watched, he began to sweat. My stomach pitched as I realized what it was. Also, like, literally, if the... The hair goes white and the eyes go red. That's kind of a pretty good sign what the problem is. I don't know about Chizuru sometimes. <laughs> is it blood? Do you want blood? Uh, I'm pretty sure the option is always give them blood, but you know. Saito, please drink my blood. However, Saito's face warped in pain and his forehead was covered in thick beads of sweat. That made it even more clear he was craving blood. Please, I'll be fine. There was no point in arguing. I unsheathed my sword and I slid the cold edge against my finger feeling a burn as the flesh split open. Ow? No, if you don't, you'll... I'm sure he simply meant to take the sword away from me. Uh, okay. That wasn't what I'd expected to hear. He took hold of my Kodachi and stepped closer. I could hear his breath rattling in his chest. The blade pressed against my ear. He must have wanted to cut where it would be barely visible. I felt a spark of pain as it broke the skin, and then his face moved so close to mine. You know, we just had to get that CG all up in there. Whatever. It's the weirdest choice of locations, but okay. <laughs> I could feel his breath on my ear. 
his lips pressed against my skin. I shivered as his breath touched my ears. And I think you already said that, Chizuru, but whatever. Saito stopped and pulled away. Well, yes, dummy, you cut us. His voice was barely above a whisper, but it sounded loud in my ear. I I'm fine. It just tickled a little bit. <laughs> he seemed relieved to hear that, and I felt his tongue touch my ear once again. He was sipping the blood that was dripping from my ear. And if we have to hear the word ear one more time, I'm gonna throw a table. R right? Like, does it bleed that much anyway? I don't... Mm. Anyway, I'm not gonna think about it too much. <clears throat> As he drank, Saito's breathing eased and his shaking began to subside. After some time, he slowly stepped back. And I guess we should grab the CG before we move on. It's okay, Saito. We still like you. His face was still pale, but at least the color was beginning to return. Don't worry about it. This will heal up in no time. He gave a short bark of laughter. Uh, no, it's not like that. I mean, if you think about it, it's my fault you became a fury in the first place. Also, that saying made no sense. I'm assuming that's just a badly translated Japanese idiom that they didn't have a good equivalent for. Anyway, localization is a thing sometimes. So He stood there silently for a moment, his back to me. Yeah, like, if carp for the horse is the whole, like, drinking blood of the person you're trying to protect, does that imply, like, ultimately you protect them so you can drink their blood later? <laughs> like, what? What? No, that's no. Saito, please don't go sun on, on us. I'm concerned now, buddy. I nodded back to Saito and we returned to our camp. So, we're gonna save. How are we feeling, friends? Do we want to take a quick break? Get up and stretch? Fresh snacks? That sort of thing? <coughs> Yeah, it was very weirdly phrased. So, like, I don't even... Ha <laughs> ha. Yeah, we've been a little... We're a little over an hour. Um, and we've got plenty more to, to go through. It's still early enough here. So let's... Let's do a little 15-minute break. Get up. Refresh drinks. Stretch. Go cuddle a cat. That sort of thing. And we'll come back and dive right in. So I will see you all in a little bit.
Wow, what did I come back to in chat? <laughs> Hello, Dylan. Welcome, welcome aboard to Samurai Bullshit after Overwatch Bullshit. <clears throat> Wrecking Ball is also literally a fucking hamster. It's kind of amazing, not gonna lie. I I low-key love it. <laughs> oh, if I had more time to devote to actually not sucking at Overwatch, I would play. But I just don't. It's unfortunate. I just don't have the time to play consistently. Like, I was playing for a little bit after it first came out and I enjoyed it. Um, and I got decent with, like, Mercy and D.Va. Uh, those, those were the, basically the two that I tended to play. But, nope. I just don't have the time. Like, I'd have to give up other things, which I can't give up because... I don't already do enough art, <laughs> and I need to do more of that. Uh, can't give up this stream. Um, and everything else is TTRPG related, which I also obviously cannot give up because those are streams and on a schedule and I have to be reliable. <sighs> so. There's just no room for Overwatch in my life. Exactly, Anna. I I don't enjoy playing a team-based thing when I'm the one clearly dragging the team down. Um, even when everybody sucks, I am unquestionably the worst, and I don't like that feeling. It's not fun. So, my rule of thumb is if it's not fun, don't do it. Anna, why are we the same person? <laughs> That's why I played Mercy too. Amen, Anna. Same. Yeah, I also haven't played Overwatch, like, literally since before Sombra was announced, so... So much has changed, I just, like... I'm a complete noob. It's just not gonna happen. It's, it's the same reason I didn't really bother 
sticking with For Honor. I, I could not get good enough at those controls nor play consistently enough to stay good. So it just wasn't a worthy time investment. I enjoy the concept of the game. If I didn't have anything else I was doing, I would do it. But, yeah. <sighs> so it goes. I will stick to my 2D fighting games. Those I can pick back up and be kind of decent at. At least versus the computer. Or versus friends who are close to my skill level. Anyway, it seems like we're all mostly back. Are we ready to jump back in and uh, have more quiet philosophical moments with Saito? Wherein we bond like a healthy couple. And then he cuts our ear and drinks our blood from our earlobe. Anyway. <sighs> I see we are all in good company here. Uh, the finger drinking was Chizuru's suggestion, and then in this last scene, Saito was like, Nah, here, give me your sword, let me pick the spot. And he cut our earlobe and drank. <laughs> yeah. I'm not sure. I. Yeah. Anyway. Shrug. <gasps> Let's get back to this bullshit, shall we? It's as close as he can get to a real smooch without really committing to it. Yes, exactly. That is totally why. The next day, our march continued on. Finally, we had arrived in Kohu. However... Yeah, who would have guessed? Maybe the Shogunate? もっと早く着く方法はいくらでもあったんじゃねえの? Man! <laughs> when Nagakuro is calling you out for partying too much, that's a problem. パチ、やめとけって。敵がこんだけ早くたどり着くなんて予想できねえよ、普通は。しかもこの話を聞いた大使のほとんどが昨夜のうちに脱走してしまったようです。Okay, we're going to take a moment to appreciate that Shimada also did the whole western uniform thing. I love that he's like this very big toll, but he's also like one of the Shinsengumi spy masters. <laughs> he's a member of the watch like Yamazaki, not one of the captains. It's amazing. Yeah, <laughs> they all have sashes to like wear their swords because the Western uniforms are like shmeh. <laughs> Everyone stood stunned in quiet resignation. 
As a creeping dread got the better of me, I looked over at Saito to whisper to him. Saito, what does that mean for us? Are we going to plan an attack to take over the castle? Saito's voice barely hovered above a murmur, so that the other warriors wouldn't overhear him. それは恐らく無理だ。城を攻めるには少なく見積もっても相手の3倍の兵力がいる。確実な勝利を目指すならば、10倍の兵が必要だ。しかもこれは双方の武器が互角の場合。Then, when I turned to look at the men in discussion, each captain had their gaze fixed on Kondo to await his feedback. Kondo, however, uttered a surprising declaration. Oh no. あ、なんだって。お神から借金をいただいて出陣したのだぞ。このまま退却して<笑> Yep, that's exactly the part we're at, Dylan. The crowd of freshly recruited soldiers roared in unison as Kondo roused them accordingly. Sasuga Kondo Kyokcho! Bushi no Kagami desu! Oh man, we have not. Most of the stories we've played, we have not been uh, near this situation. We would have been if we had continued on Hijikata's route, but we obviously like gave up on that after Kyoto. Um, we haven't played the second half of his yet, but... <laughs> we kind of... Well, in, in Soji's, we basically heard about it and then dealt with it because... Kondo obviously is incredibly important to Soji, but uh, we did not actually witness the this closeness to this situation. But man, look at how upset and worried uh, Nagakura looks right now. <laughs> Let's also take a moment to remember that at the Battle of Toba Fushimi, uh, Nagakura took his entire, like, group, uh, his little legion that he was captain of, and they went and, like, hit the front line to deal with cannons and shit. They definitely were not liable to make that out alive. Uh, so he's seen some shit at this point, and is more than a little jaded. Incidentally, uh, historically speaking, Nagakura is one of the very few Shinsengumi who survived the whole Boshin War and lived to a ripe old age. And yeah, uh, Kondo does not take on a Western uniform. It is very interesting and very telling. He kind of gets a big head when the shogunate promises him that he, like, basically elevates him to become a daimyo. Uh, and that's where it all sort of slides downhill. <laughs> Which is the situation we're kind of in right now. その腰に刺しているものは一体何だ? Mm, Kondo... 
勝つ見込みがまるでねえ勝負に命なんて張らねえって言ってるだけだおこのあと合流する予定の部隊があるんだ。江戸に待機してるから、俺が今から呼びに行ってくる。それに敵側も、まだ俺たちの正体には気づいてねえはずだ。こっちから仕掛けねえ限り戦になることはねえ。Poor Hijikata having to be the voice of reason here. だからあと少しだけ辛抱してくれ。He just gets increasingly tired as the story goes on, to be quite honest. It's really sad to watch. And yes, as Lin says,、um, despite their whole disagreement here、uh, after the Boshin War,、uh, Shinpachi established another grave for Kondo. Nagakura angrily slammed his fist to the ground. Wakata yo. Anta ni soko de yuaja. しかたねえよな。Afterwards, Hijikata departed swiftly, making his way back to Edo. Thankfully, the Imperial forces made no attempt to attack us, instead, keeping themselves safely fortified within the walls of Kohu Castle. If battle were to ensue, then I was sure that we would have all been killed easily. Like a wave crashing on the shore before reinforcements could arrive. Although our men were intently patrolling the surrounding areas of our camp, we had just above a hundred warriors in our ranks, which would do little to stave off an actual attack. Then I saw Saito, who appeared a tad meek. Are you all right, Saito? Your skin is so pale. Let's take a moment to remember literally every other boy that we've、uh, chased the route so far and them becoming furies and very firmly sticking to the night schedule because daylight is horribly painful and exhausting to them. And this guy's been rolling around in the daytime. <laughs> This whole time. That says a lot. And the color had so thoroughly drained from his skin that I was sure he was soon to faint. Well, you don't look fine. Why don't you take a breather? Hoka no basho nara iza shirazu. Chikai uchi ni ikusaba to naru basho de yasumeru hazu ga nakaro. Well, I suppose. The afternoon sun was blaring in the sky, radiating so intensely that my skin felt like it could peel off. Normally, even walking under the sun would have been overwhelming to Saito. However, if war were to break out, the hairs on my arms stood at the thought. Just then. Ah, shit. 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 Ah, This is fine. Soldiers normally have glowing red eyes, right? That's totally normal.
Nagakura unsheathed his sword and Harada fetched his spear, both of them readying themselves into an offensive stance. The Imperial soldiers unsheathed their swords in return and they sprinted towards us, but... With one quick movement, Nagakura swung his sword, slicing against the abdomens of the incoming soldiers, spilling pints of thick blood against the dirt... ground. Damn it. Edo Blossoms, we need to have a talk about your understanding of floors and earthen ground that is outdoors. Anyway. <laughs> Nagakura aimed the tip of his blade to the sternum of the soldier, driving his sword into him with intense force as the soldier coughed up blood. Without another word, the soldier simply fell limply to the ground. I'm just gonna mentally find and replace floor with ground as much as possible. <laughs> just as Nagakura barked confidently in laughter. <laughs> the Imperial soldier who we had presumed to be dead on the ground laughed eerily. Then... He leapt up, jumping high above Nagakura's body into the air. The soldier took out his sword and swung down. As he parried the approaching katana, Nagakura screamed out in disbelief. Just then, the eyes of the enemy soldier flashed a bright shade of crimson. Oh, you know. No, no particular reason. One after the other, each of the scout troops had their hair and eyes turn red and white, respectively, except I fucked up the order, but it's fine. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Hello, Kika. Yes, this is more vampire samurai bullshit. Despite their best efforts, our new warriors were all powerless against the Furies, lacking the know-how and skill set necessary to tackle these beasts. Gosh, I forgot how wickedly good the foley is in this. <clears throat> they were simply no match, and the Furies slaughtered each of our men without any remorse. These Furies came out of nowhere. How could they be here? No, it couldn't be. <laughs> uh, go the fuck away, Dad. Dad. My worst fears were realized as father appeared from behind a tall tree. Father seemed to be in a trance as he gazed at each fury maliciously acting under the light of the sun. His eyes gleamed with madness, and he smiled. Amagiri, who had been standing beside him, however, had a bitter expression as he watched the visceral battle take place. <laughs> I hope this is the stab our dad moment of the stream. That would be great. Can we just get Koto off the cast, please? Amagiri can stay, he's cool. 
日の光を恐れぬようになったとはいえおぞましき本質が変わるわけではない偽りは偽りを。Uh, yes, Kika. Her entire family is awful. Her brother is even worse. <laughs> I don't know. There might be like another surviving Oni somewhere that's kind of okay. Maybe. ことばですが何が本物で何が偽物かを決めるのもまた曖昧な基準に過ぎません少なくとも彼らはこの日の元を我が物顔でカッポする人間どもよりは強い強さこそは唯一無二の真実です彼らさえいれば旧幕府軍
承知した。Oh no. What we discussed? 雪村、あんたは俺と共に来い。もしもの時は二人で先に逃げるよう、土方さんに言われている。But that's not right. We're leaving the other warriors so that we could escape. あんたがここにいても足手まといにしかならん。いいから来い。おいおい、もうちょっと言い方考えてやらって。そういうところ、とことん気が利かねえのな。俺たちのことは心配しなくていいぜ。<笑>分かってんだろ。俺たちがめちゃくちゃ強いってこと。あらだ、なかから。I was blushed with guilt, but there was nothing I could do myself to help them, even if I had stayed there. I know, like, moment of respect for these two bros right here. They are so good together. I quickly bowed to the two of them, and Saito yanked my arm as we sprinted away together. Rasets in that time, the Hino Hikari no Moto of Arukunoa. Toho Monai Kutsu o Tomorrow has. あの男を突き動かしているものは一体何だ意地か名誉かはたまたお前たちあの娘を追いなさい傷を負わせずに生け捕りにするのだ Please let this be the moment we stab Koro That'd be real neat. <clears throat> My father shrieked his order loudly, which caused a gang of nearby furies to scream in response before running after us. <laughs> uh oh. Saito's hair turned white, the color of the fury. Saito, no! You can't use your fury powers while the sun is still out! 今はそんなことを言っている場合ではあるまい。OK、バリー。Saito maneuvered through the furies with precision, coldly slashing at each fury until they fell definitively. A lengthy chill shivered through my body. Get wrecked. Without any wasted movement, Saito sliced into each of the Fury's vital points with a godly display of technique. With each wave of his sword, however, came the splatter of Fury blood all over his porcelain face. <laughs> this is fine. To avoid the stinging scent of blood, Saito tried covering his mouth and nose all at once with his arm. Then he looked down, his face becoming more pale. At any moment, he looked set to collapse. Saito? As I watched these events unfold, I sheepishly called out to him. Saito shut his eyes tightly, wiping the blood from off his face with his sleeve repeatedly. <laughs> Are you okay? He had transformed into his fury form, and so much blood had been splattered on him. Even I could recognize that Saito was showing an incredible amount of discipline and self restraint that I hadn't thought possible. Daichinai. Aw, buddy. He hoped to comfort me, but it was obvious that he was feigning toughness for my sake. With that, I helped him walk forward. Suddenly, I saw the group of Furies gather around us. The mastermind behind this whole plot was. Jizuru, you were not so much of a fool as your sister. Uh, don't pull this fucking dad bullshit on us now. You're a dick. Father stared back at me with a dejected expression. 
because I knew my rebellion came as somewhat of a shock to him. Despite knowing he was no longer the father, I knew the man who had raised me. Seeing the pain in his eyes made my heart heavy. Chizuru, really? Come on, girl. Lies. You're a liar. <laughs> exactly, Julie. <laughs> like, nope, no, <laughs> nope. <laughs> We're not doing this. Father's hands, which had so fondly patted my head when I was a child, reached out towards me. Yukina. I think we're like 20 something now, so, you know, we're definitely an adult. <laughs> Saito spoke between strained breaths. <laughs> exactly, Anna. <laughs> that's that's like his whole situation in a nutshell. <laughs> Father, answer me. What is this happiness that you've wished for me? I wasn't sure which father I was speaking to. The only way to know was to ask. Father, in turn, offered a maniacal smile. Hard pass. I don't care how wonderful Kazuma's voice is. Hard pass. I was Anna's summary is about right. Um, and yeah, technically they're not like, they drink blood and stuff, but they actually uh, are still alive. So they're not truly vampires. It can it brings them back from the brink of death, but they are sort of this weird half-step between... They're, they're, like, kind of demonic, I guess. I don't know. It's a weird situation. <laughs> it was strange to think. A voice that had given me so much comfort in the past was now the bearer of the news I'd wish to hear least in the world. I'd already known this to be true, but hearing it aloud was like splitting open an old scar in the depths of my heart. <sighs> to father, my only worth came from the fact that I could bear Kazuma's demon children. Hot tears began to flow uncontrollably from my eyes. Sorry, father. <laughs> I may be a horrible child, but... I can't. I just can't make your wish come true. Father's face instantly warped in response. In fact, it was almost unrecognizable. Then... I guess he's done being our dad. Fuck off, Kodo. Father barked his command towards the Furies with glaring eyes, and like corpses, they dragged their feet to turn around and face us. However, the white-haired beasts screeched harshly in unison, and at once they began to charge toward us. Suddenly... Listen, I'm not saying I would play that stuff, Kika, but I would. I'm not not saying I wouldn't play it. Anyway. 